Yeah, we're going to 69 the news. What? Yeah, it is hot, and I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. It all comes together on 69 News. 69 The News. This dude in California named is Michael Armas Sr. He was in the news, and maybe you heard about this because uh, he was at his local bank one morning when he recognized his former neighbor talking to the bank teller. Okay. He said he could tell by this guy's voice that he was irritated, sounded really depressed, so he decided to walk up to him, and now unbeknownst to him, the neighbor had just passed a note to the teller claiming that he was armed with explosives Whoa. and was robbing the bank. Whoa. That's so freaky. Yeah. Now, according to the news article here, Armis 60, uh, Armis Sr., 69, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> interrupted and asked, what was wrong? The neighbor responded, there's nothing in this town for me. I just want to go to prison. Oh, my oh, God. Wow, that's, that's when uh, sad, Michael actually. suggested that they go outside, and uh, he was able to stop the bank robbery with a hug. Oh, oh my God! The dumbass neighbor still got what he wanted. He was taken to jail, but that hug, though, ah, oh, babe. Whoa! Damn. Yeah, sixty-nine, dudes. <laughs> That's right. <gasps> That's right, bro. Hell yeah! Sixty-nine. The news. Let's see what else we got here in the sixty-nine news. Every day, sixty-nine news is covering what's happening right now. All right. So at a WWE Night of Champions, fan witnessed one of the shortest women's competition uh, matches. In the company's history. Uh, okay. Yeah. What so it was uh, Raw superstar Natalia mm-hmm. taking on Rhea Ripley. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, most WWE fans expected Ripley to win, which she did, but they mm-hmm. were shocked at how quick the match was. Guess how long it was? 69 seconds. Six. Point uh, nine minutes. It was 69 seconds. Nice. Nice. Rave. That's right, Rave. What is 69? Yeah. <laughs> So Ripley attacked Natalia from behind. That's hot. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Threw her around the ringside area and then uh, back in the ring and hit her with the signature move, a riptide. Oh, oh heck wow. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Very yeah. good. <laughs> they shouldn't fight. They should make they up. They should just oh, yeah. kiss. Yeah, that's kiss. what they should do. <laughs> yeah. Easy from behind, peasy. just fondle boobs. Right. And yep. butt. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's now you're 69 talking. The News. 69 News is there. A family in Ohio has finally gotten closure after their family member, a soldier who lost his life in the Korean War, was finally identified. Wow. Thanks to advanced DNA testing and forensic analysis, 69 years later, they were able to finally figure out who the remains belong to. Wow. He's United States Army Private First Class Billy A. DeBoard from Miamisburg, Ohio, and uh, he will be buried in Ohio coming up in November. Wow, 69 years 69 ago. years later. 69. <laughs> 69. Uh, we are 69ing the news. It all comes together on 69 News. It does. And here, a story about this chick from Ukraine who moved to the U.S. in 2017. And to help her earn some money, she started renting her car out on Turo. Okay. Which is a uh, car sharing app. It allows mm-hmm. people to rent out their cars to people at a daily rate. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. people are making bank doing that. Yeah, yeah well, that's what's happening here. So she uh, did really well with that. So she got herself a used 2011 Porsche Cayenne, Okay. put it on Turo, and she did even better with that one. So then she quickly realized that the more flashy the car, the more money she made. So she bought more. Mm -hmm. And today she's got a fleet of 69 cars that she rents out on Turo. She's got Teslas, uh, Ferraris, Rolls Royce, even Greg's favorite. Aston Martin. Oh, nice. And uh, last year, she made under uh, just under a million dollars renting them out. Nine hundred and eighty some thousand nice. dollars. Impressive. Uh, yeah. Renting out these cars, but yeah, she's got a fleet now of oh sixty nine cars. <laughs> Damn, girl. Sixty nine. Awesome. Yeah. I hope she doesn't get any more. Leave it right mm. there. Mm. What's that? Just keep it well, sexy. I hope she doesn't yeah. get one more car. Oh, just to leave it. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not keep go it. to number seven. Right. Just that's enough. Yeah. yeah. There's this girl that I follow online. She has a fleet as well, but she goes, look. One of these cars is going to end up totaled one day. Just, that's true. You know, yeah, that's that's true. just a fact. It's just part of the yeah. business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other well, than insured. Yeah. It would yeah. rule to do that, but I have a neighbor nearby that has a, not a Turo thing, but a driving service. Yeah. So he's got like, I don't know, six all or these seven cars around. SUVs right on our street that are there all the time. And now he puts mm-hmm. cones out on the street. Like, <laughs> oh, like God. don't park here. It's where my fleet <laughs> this goes. This is where the yeah. fleet belongs. Yeah. It's uh, 69 some more news. Every day, 69 News is covering what's happening right now. And when it comes to watching sports, do you prefer to be at the game, like in person, or watching it on TV? I, I think TV. Uh, I'm more of a television person now. 
thanks to uh, big screen televisions and 4K and maybe now watching with your Apple or Quest headsets. Yeah. People would rather watch outside the venue, not necessarily at home, but just outside the venue. Huh. According ah. to a new report, 69% of people nice. would rather be at home or somewhere like a sports bar watching the game. Yeah. And uh, that percentage goes even higher with younger generations. Yeah. The report also found that the most valuable thing for a fan to have during the game, no matter where they're watching from, at the game or away, mm -hmm. is their cell phone. Because they want to look up stats and they want to see replays. Yeah. yeah. Of the game. Always I, don't, do that. I don't know if this is odd, but I like watching games with friends, like on a TV or at a bar. But when I'm at a game, I like kind of being by myself, just like a plus really? one. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to go with a big group. I group. prefer to I, be at I, the game. Mm. Yeah, but I, being with a big group at a game, I just think it's just such a hassle trying to coordinate everything. Trying to coordinate everyone. Yeah. But I prefer to be at the game. Or watching with other like legit fans, yeah. Whether that be at somebody's house mm -hmm. or at a bar yeah. or something like that, but you know, sports. San Francisco 69ers. The San Francisco <laughs> yeah. 69ers yeah. probably yeah. one of yeah. Greg's favorites. Like uh -huh. that team. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we have uh, thoroughly 69 the news. Heck yeah, nice. we have. June 9th, we had to do it. Yeah, of yep. course. Six nine, everybody. No choice. Yeah. And it's yeah. also uh, Bill and Ted Day. Oh, it's because, nice. It's because of that scene in Bill and Ted's where. They're outside the Circle K, and the time traveling them shows up to the you know mm -hmm. just the regular you know everyday them. Mm -hmm. Rufus is there, George yeah. Carlin. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, if you're really us, what number are we thinking of right <laughs> now? Sixty nine, dudes. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, whoa. <laughs> That's Nailed why it. it's also uh, Bill and Ted Day.